technology. This video covers the P2P configuration for the Shield CN series recorders that come with the XVR 5.0 firmware. On the user login window, enter the default password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Press enter then press login. The XVR gives a tip about the current password being too simple. For security reasons is recommended to modify the default password, but press modify later this time. The easiest way to find the P2P information on the XVR unit is to press the system info button on the bottom of the screen. It will display the unit's QR codes. The QR code on the left links to the mobile app download. The QR code on the right gives the device's serial number. To view the QR code status, go into the system settings. Right click anywhere on the screen to bring up the top menu and select system. For P2P to work properly, DHCP has to be enabled. On the menu to the left you can change the DHCP setting by going to TCP slash IP under network. Once DHCP is enabled go to advanced which is also under network and here you will find the P2P settings. On this window enabled P2P has to be checked and the status must say online for P2P to work. If the XVR is having issues connecting, there is a refresh button on the bottom right. Also, sometimes after changing network settings such as enabling DHCP, the unit has to be rebooted for the settings to take effect. Go to the App Store for iOS, or Play Store for Android, and download the BitVision app. The direct links to download the BitVision app can also be found at app.shieldcctv.com. From the app, press the login button on the top left. Then press device on that menu to add a new device. On the next window press the red plus sign at the bottom left to add a new device. Select the IP slash DDNS slash SN option. Then press SN which is the middle tab and press the red square to the right of device number line to scan the QR code. Depending on the phone, the user may have to move further away or come closer for the QR code to be scanned properly. Also, if scanning is not working, the user can type the serial number below the QR code manually on the device number line. Next, type in the user account, which by default is admin, ADMIN, make sure is all lowercase because usernames and passwords are case sensitive. Next, type in the password for the account which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, unless it was changed by the user. The device name cannot be empty. The user can choose any name. This is only used as an identifier for users accessing multiple XVRs from the app. Press save, and the app will attempt to connect to the XVR. The device does not exist error may appear if the XVR has never connected to the P2P server. That could happen if P2P and DHCP are not enabled as demonstrated earlier on the video. To resolve the issue, enable both DHCP and P2P. Make sure the Ethernet cable is properly connected from the router to the XVR, then reboot or power cycle the unit. Press save again, and the app will give confirmation that the device was successfully added. Now press the back arrow on the top left twice to go back to the main screen. In order to see the cameras, the user has to add camera views. Simply press the plus sign in any of the empty camera channels and select the cameras you want to add on the next screen. If the device is selected instead of a particular camera then all the cameras will be added into the view. Once the camera is added the views should come on after a few seconds, or the user can force a refresh by pressing one of the cameras. This video is brought to you by Shield Technology. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and visit shieldcctv.com for updated information on Shield Technology products.